Final run of the day. Uh, I needed something that, of course, did rifle rounds, that met all the requirements where we were gonna go training, but I also wanted it to be lightweight. And I mean, AR-500 Armor is, you know, a top name in the game. They've been doing this a while. They've got this uh, recipe pretty much baked down. You guys have all the tools, everything that we've taught you how to do this. So these come in at 5.5 pounds, 0.21 inches thick in the actual metal core. All right, slow, communicate. Slow, smooth. All right, you ready to do this? Yep. All right. You've got to have the right gear to show up and learn, you know, so I think, uh, you know. You come in here and kill you! We're going to kill you! They last forever, you know, yeah. it's steel. So as long as you maintain it how you would steal. Uh, We're all gonna kill you, you come in and have four guys shoot. I think it does exactly what you want it to do and that's stop bullets. Stop bullets. Absolutely. So What's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it. I got Jesse here with me. What's going on guys? And in today's video, we're gonna bring you a review on the AR500 Lightweight Level 3 Plus Body Armor from AR500Armor.com. So Jesse, this past year we've taken a lot of training. We've taken several shoot house classes. There we have. And armor is required for those classes. Yep. Um, if you're gonna run a rifle, you gotta have a hard body armor. So obviously, uh, you know, I went out on the market, was looking for body armor. Uh, I needed something that, of course, did rifle rounds, that met all the requirements where we were gonna go training. But I also wanted it to be lightweight. So uh, at AR500Armor.com, for $110 a plate, I found this lightweight level 3 plus body armor with their swimmers cut on here. So, but back to the training aspect, when, you know, we're, we're in full kit, you know, from 10 a.m. to sometimes 4 a.m. in the morning, 16 hours, 18 hours a day, the weight aspect is one of the biggest, huge benefits of this plate, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's designed to stop bullets. That's, so so that's, that's it. That's what we wanted to do. <laughs> Other than that, we want to be able to use our kit how we normally use it when we don't have the, you know, this the item on us. Uh, the nice part about this is they kind of do the work for you. They get rid of a lot of this material here and make it so it just covers up them vitals. You know, we got this high thoracic region that it covers up. Uh, you know, this is where we shoot at in training because this is where all the good stuff yep, is. Yep, absolutely. You know, you got your heart, your lungs, and this is protecting all that. The nice part is, you see, I have nice wide open cuts here to get that rifle in. As you know, and uh, off position shooting, sometimes you don't always get that perfect shoulder on the gun. Yep. It helps to have a little more room in there. Also, I find when you're in the prone position, that plate starts to dig up on you. You know, you've got those mag pouches maybe on your kit that start pushing it up. It really helps to have that opening right there. So yeah, like you said, uh, I think lightweightness is a key factor. You know, this has got the nice curve for your body on there. And yeah, I mean, I think it does exactly what you want it to do, and that's stop bullets. Stop bullets. Absolutely. So, uh, and I'll put links in the description box below for you guys. Um, we're not going to go out and shoot it. They've done the videos on it. Everyone's done shooting on it. They, they stop bullets is what they do. I mean, this rifle round is rated for all the, you know, the 5.56, five, the green tips up to 3,000 feet per second, 7.62 by 39 up to 3,000 feet per second, uh, the M80, you know, 7.62 or 308 up to 2,800 feet per second. It's not AP 308 rated rounds. But this stops almost all the common rounds. Um, but again, we need to look at from a realistic standpoint of what do we have this for? And for us, that's training. Yeah. That's getting out and training. And again, so these come in at 5.5 pounds, 0.21 inches thick in the actual metal core, not including the actual spray on coating on this. And you know, I don't think we can stress that to people of how great these plates are for training when you're not carrying, you know, those eight, nine, 10 pound plates, you're carrying 5.5 pound plates. Yeah, again, uh, like you were mentioning, the spall coating here, you know, that helps so that the rounds, all that black, all that uh, spall off the rounds stays here on it. And I mean, AR-500 armor is, you know, a top name in the game. They've been doing this a while. They've got this uh, recipe pretty much baked down right. And again, I think when running a minimalist rig so that you can access your everyday carry items, it's really hard to beat this plate. No, absolutely. I've been running it in my Grey Ghost Gear, Grey Ghost Gear Minimalist Plate Carrier. We'll have a review on that uh, and a link down below. Be sure to check that out. Uh, you know, another great part, which you made of it, you know, for we, we like to run these classes with what we carry every day in. And these cuts allow for movement of getting our gear 
mag pouch, whatever it is, is these cuts really helping in keeping that free movement along with all the other benefits you talked about. All right, guys, so, you know, let's talk about price point. As we mentioned, you know, we're doing, we wear our clay carriers primarily for training. So that means, you know, maybe four or five times a year, uh, home defense courses, shootouts courses like that, we're actually rocking these carriers. Other than that, I try to carry how I live and, you know, unfortunately, I'm no longer in the business of doing <laughs> that on a daily basis. So, again, I think uh, for that role, the price point is is right there. You know, this is something that you can pick up, put away, and you're not going to feel bad about having $800 in plates that, you know, again, in a few years, you're going to have to do that shelf life. That's another awesome thing about steel plates is they last forever. You know, yep. it's steel. So as long as you maintain it how you would steel, uh, you know, again, it's got that nice coating on there that's going to help prevent rust and everything. But, yeah, just, uh, you know, with some quick visual inspections, this thing should last 20 years plus, no problem. No, absolutely. So guys, these plates come in at $110 a piece. This is the 10 by 12 plate. Uh, you can get the 11 by 14 plate for 10 bucks more. You know, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably go with a larger plate because if you can get it, why not? Especially if it's just adding just uh, a couple inches of lengthwise and just an inch on the sides. Uh, they do offer a couple, uh, you know, you can get some additional spall coating on here. You can get some foam backing. Uh, I might maybe go with one of those, but again, we want to keep the price down so we can get, get out and train. So uh, as you guys know us, we're in Alliance Police Training's facility right now. Be sure to go check them out, AlliancePoliceTraining.com. They've been huge supporters of the channel. And we appreciate that. You guys can actually come out here, get these plates, and come take some shoot house classes right here. We can't stress enough, you know, especially in that civilian role of how important shoot house training is. And I think, you know, getting these plates to go along with that is a really good step forward. No, definitely. I mean, you've got to have the right gear to show up and learn, you know. So I think... Uh... You know, again, keeping that price point is always on, uh, on our concern, you know, uh, with the training, everything, you know, starts to add up. So, yeah, being able to get really good kit for uh, an effective price, you know, I think is uh, just a great option. Yep, absolutely, guys. So, again, there's our review of the AR500Armor.com plate. We ran this through classes. It's been great to cut all that weight. These cuts are fantastic for all movement, running those rifles, getting to our EDC gear. And, again, it's lightweight and it's Thin. That's the best things about these plates. You know, I, how many times have, have people asked what you know plates I'm running, and I hand them my plate carrier, and they're like, "Holy crap, you just cut off so much weight compared to mine. Where do I get those?" 5.5 pounds per plate is huge when you're running kit all day. Yeah. So there it is, guys. There's a review. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit like, share it with their friends. Please do. And again, go please check out AlliancePoliceTraining.com. They offer fantastic training. Uh, Steve Fisher, Sentinel Concepts. EAG Tactical, they host their own classes here as well. I also offer some LEO classes for you guys that LEO, you know, LEO might, might want these as well. Yeah, uh, you know, again, I think uh, it's going to depend on your role a little bit. But. Yeah, absolutely. So there it is, guys. Until next time, take care. I don't think that was as good as our first one. But. No. I think we should uh, maybe retake the outro real quick. Okay. Don't say LEO, guys, because they can't. They're not going to steal. Okay. Right? Yep. So there it is, guys. There's a review of the AR500 Armor Lightweight Level 3 Plus Body Armor. You know, when we go all through this training, 5.5 pounds per plate, 0.21 inches thick. You're wearing your kit for 16, 18 hours per day. I can't tell how many times I've handed people my carrier with my plates in it, and they're just like, holy crap, that is way lighter than mine. Where do I get those? Because when you run it all day, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, again, I think, you know... Depending on what your role is for us, again, it's uh, getting out there and training uh, as civilians, you know, and yeah, you want something that, again, is cost effective, stops the bullets because th that's the primary concern and allows you to, yeah, run it how you run your normal gear, not interfering with everything else. So I think that this plate really does that. Uh, again, it's very thin, it's very minimalist, and I like it. It does the job. So there it is, guys. There's a review. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit like, share it with your friends. Visit AlliancePoliceTraining.com. Come get your shoot house training done right here. Links down below. Until next time, take care.